you know, to pursue a filmmaking career the way that we do, um, we have to have faith that one day our effort is going to pan out. Um, the reality is that is that it's probably not going to pan out. Um, do you ever think about about that side of it? About like, you know, what all this work it, it's never ever going to pan out, and and sort of how do you what do you do or how do you keep your faith strong? You have to love it to begin with. If you're doing it because you see it as a way to make money, you see it as like your meal ticket, then I don't think you're going to be successful. But you know, if, if it's something that you love and you're passionate about, then you know what, if it, if it pans out when you're 95, then great, that's just an added bonus. You know, if you're able to make something from it or if you're able to, to, you know, like get to a certain point, like great, like that's a bonus. But I think it's the process of making it that is so rewarding to begin with. So, you know, seeing a final product and like putting yourself all in is is not something that a lot of people do like outside of this world where you just you go for it and um, and seeing a product completed is such a rewarding thing like even if it's even if it's just um, I don't know if, like I mean I, even if you don't make all of your money back from it or whatever but having that final thing of like you know I did that like I put that together and, and watching that um, is enough to be able to want to do it again. Um, but yeah, you have to love it and you have to be kind of crazy about loving it too. Yeah, I think I think it comes in phases. I think there's a point where, you know, there's a drive to, when you're younger, like you have to, like you have to hit all these milestones mm -hmm. and, and you have to be, it must be this famous or can't continue or must be this successful and it can't continue. And I think uh, the more you do it, if you love it, um, you're going to keep doing it. and. and I mean, at least for me, the goal is, is is to chip away, you know, get a little, be a little more successful every time. And, and you know, if it was if it was something that I was going to stop based on where I'm at now, yeah. then I don't think I don't think we would be finishing our Kickstarter if I had that type of mentality. Um, but but I don't, and I'm happy with where I'm at in terms of growing as a filmmaker and, and hopefully being able to get to a point where. Um, I can see the re rewards of, of that success play out. So I think it's it's taking it at levels, and, and yeah. where where I'm at now and where we're at now, I, I think I think we're on a good pace. And I think you do need to re-examine. But I think uh, for me, it would be re-examining what I'm doing within that creative sphere rather than not being within that creative yeah, sphere. Yeah, and, and I think that's sort of what it comes down to. You know, it's like like if you, I mean, maybe it's because we're not quitters, you know. But it's like that idea of like, okay, like I'm gonna quit. I'm not gonna do that anymore. It's like. Where does that leave you? Like, so you're just gonna go to your nine to five and be unhappy and miserable for the rest of your life? Like, that sounds like a great decision. Like, that like that doesn't make sense. This idea of like, I'm just I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm I'm done with it. I'm like, I I it, I just don't understand it. Um, I I don't know. Maybe maybe I haven't been frustrated enough or whatever. But it's like I feel like it's always gonna be something. There may be a frustration or there's gonna be like something else that you pursue for a what real for a little while, but I feel like if it's something you're really passionate about, you're always gonna keep coming back to it. It's not like if an opportunity comes down four years down the road after you've quit, you're gonna be like, no, no, I don't do that anymore. I just, I don't. Yeah, I think, you know, even to be successful in a nine to five, you have to have a certain level of drive. So why not apply that drive um, to, to something you have a passion for, to something you love doing. If, if you have a drive to be successful, um, then, you know, there are going to be frustrations and there are going to be ups and downs in anything you do. Um, so it, it I mean, uh, at least it's in something that uh, we love doing. Yeah. Oh, and Meg, I mean, how many, how many years has, has this been a, a deep passion of yours? Um, for, for a long time. I think I, I started later. Um, and maybe that's why I have that perspective because I went to school as an econ major, and that that completely didn't work out at all. Um, but that's a completely different story. Um, but you know, I wrote stories when I was a kid, um, and realized that that that's where my passion was. And, and so in college, I kind of came back to it as a screenwriter, and, and then as a as a filmmaker, um, and, and have had that drive ever since. And 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 it hasn't waned. It, it, it's been pretty strong since you sort of rediscovered it. Oh yeah, it hasn't. Uh, in fact, it's it, honestly that that drive has helped me through through more difficult and, and challenging every everyday life more than you know it being to to my detriment. I think. Maybe it was 
big enough passion to pull me into it. <laughs> it's like a black hole of, I don't know. <laughs>